Hey everyone, Waterbot here, and welcome back. We got some more. Ooh, ooh. Granary can produce stew. Pick, pick a new blueprint. Okay, here we go. Welcome back to some more against the storm. I. What else we got? Brickyard or lumber mill? Brickyard. Lumber mill. Makes bricks and pottery, or planks, firewood, and barrels. Huge. Okay. So we don't have too many resources. We don't have too many supplies. Mill. Flour, oil, and kiln. Or... Oh, kiln can make jerky. Okay. We have to worry about that. Last time we lost pretty badly due to, well, a lot of things. And I might have to go into some of those dangerous zones. It looks like heading north and heading this way are both a good idea. I have no idea where we're going to find farmland. Though we do have... We do not have a farm. Good to know. Okay. So I'm going to just start with those two. What does this gather by? Scavenger camp is flax and berry herbalist hut. Hut. Boy, I sure hope insects are edible. Alright. Let's see if I can pull this off. Alright. Beaver. Beaver. Lizard. Lizard. Beaver. Okay, there we go. And this is going to have our humans. We're not even going to think about anything else until we've opened some of these locations up. Okay. Choose a settlement to trade with. Smoldering City. Yes. Spices. And wood. Oh, no, they give me these things. So if I can give them potentially stone? I'll think about that. Yeah, so if I give them X amount, they'll give me stuff back. Okay, so we need a stone cutter's camp and some other things. Now let's hope for the best. And then I might actually go for some of those. We'll see. All right, what's our buff? Workers carry five more items at once. Extra goods produced. Or people feel oddly rebellious. Plus one global resolve for every whole impatience point. Let's go with that. That's, what's, that's what killed me last time. Having high morale should help a lot. Okay, how much wood am I sitting on? Okay, so it looks like I can sacrifice spare wood. I shouldn't do that too much, but I can sacrifice spare resources. How are we doing on food? We're doing okay on food. Still nothing to justify the camp. Do I want to go for this? Roots, meat, coal. Now I'm going to go... I'm going to go with that. And we don't have anybody spare. For the time being. I'll pull the beaver off. We want to send it to the citadel. We have a glade event. Oh, this one's a camp. They require grain, though. So we don't even have that. Not even worth thinking about. Okay, back to work, you. Okay. Gonna kind of cut some of those out. 
and some of these out. This is huge. So maybe we'll end up with some more stuff here. And yeah, the other thing I gotta remember is that I can, in fact, sacrifice uh, spare quantities of wood for extra morale. Um, let's just take a pair of humans. Oh, interesting. The more humans I have, the harder it is to please them. That makes sense. But yeah, I wonder, I wonder if I can just burn spare wood like that to really boost people up. I mean, the answer is yes. Okay, so we've got mushrooms up here. What can I, what can I scavenge? Plant fiber, insect, and vegetables. None of these. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna need some reputation before I can even do anything with any of these guys. Yeah. Okay, ten beavers. Keep reputation high. Extra beaver resolve. But we need more beavers. And my biggest issue is whether or not RNG is going to screw us over on the whole food front. Okay, I'm going to limit this down a bit. Because I want to clear these out, but I need to get into these glaives, uh, glades. Otherwise, we're just going to have no food. Oh, this one's really good, though. But I'm going to assign... I'm going to assign... I, I'm going to send them out to investigate. I'd like to keep these resources, however... Let's see. Break that. Add a human. However, not that helpful. Oh, right. Guess who forgot? Shelter is kind of important. Ain't it? Okay, we'll start working on those houses. It's not going to give me any boost, but it'll prevent things from getting worse. Go back to this. And pump ha happiness for a little while. That's a mechanic that I wish I had kind of noticed and paid attention to. Oh, we have a new blueprint. Small farm or lizard house? <sighs> Honestly, I'm going to go lizard lizard house, I think. So the interesting thing is small farm would get us... No, I got to go for the farm. We don't have any farmland, though, which is kind of a... No, we do. We just got a bunch. This is a lumber camp. Oh, and it just moves. I didn't realize it was just an instant transmission of building. Yeah, a number of people are pointing out that uh, you can, in fact, move those. Yeah. Going with the farm is a good idea. This will solve our food problems and potentially lets me sacrifice some food. How am I doing on wood? I'm doing okay on wood. We should probably stop, though. Yeah, people are going to get mega sad. But I, I need some of that. Uh, let's see. Speaking of... Lumber mill. Planks, firewood, barrels. We also have kiln, but we can't do some of those. workstation. 
makeshift post. I guess that'll just have to do. Oh. And that. I'm just gonna spread that. This music got dire sounding. There we go. Because that gives me some things to build. Okay. I'm gonna move this right out here. Got that, but that still requires some berries, so we can't do anything about it. Okay. I'm just gonna move that right up in there. That way I can just start harvesting that. Alright, so we get some things. I like bonus goods. The rest of these are kind of interesting, but hit and miss for me. And I need some more beavers, and none of these are beavers. Sacrifice oil. Firewood. Or coal. I'll take what I can get. Okay. Anyway, I've got two spare humans. Let's let them build and harvest. This way, hopefully, we won't run out of food. Okay. Lizard. Oh, it does require copper bar to make barrels. So that's a bit of a bit of a downer. Okay. And I can't even get scavenger camps. All right. Well, at the very least we can get this one. I go for another beaver, maybe. We might want to look into packs of crops. Hey, we get this though. Trapper camp or a ranch? Produces meat, leather, and eggs. Has one worker slot. Or meat, insects, and eggs. I'm gonna try that. Ranch. Obviously, we don't have the stuff for it, but could let me make jerky? Let's see. Because I know there's the... the granary. And the kiln. Okay, let's put another person on that. I found, like, no stone, but maybe I don't need it. Alright, we got some more things. Stone road. We don't have those. Pack of fuel. And other things. Boy, I feel like this is going to be another loss. I've at least figured out how to keep me my people happy. Uh, but that's... That's about it. Okay. Go to that. Did we get... We do have the trade. So she might be... What saves me. I will see. These are going... This is not going as much. At least we can make some firewood. And have this guy just focus on firewood. These guys work on firewood. This shit's about to burn out. Okay. Luckily, people are a little happier. Okay. 
And we've kind of built everything that we can build for the time being. So I'm going to have this person work on that. Once we have enough parts, I'll probably move somebody out. Or potentially pull back a woodcutter. But even then, iffy on that one. Alright, so what do we got? Five oil for every flyer produced. Mold supply, which would be great. Bakery. Biscuits and pie. Brewery makes ale and ink. And mill. Might be worth it. Here's the question, though. So, we don't even have the tavern. What about all of my money? It's not bad. Because I know, I know mold supply would be lovely. But yeah, let's just grab those blueprints. Unfortunately, we don't have enough people. And we got to start making some of these. Herbs, planks, and roots. Roots. Ah, needs a stone cutter's camp. Okay, so we can now get a brewery, which would be nice. Granary, some other things. What is this? Hey, we also got supplies. Send to the citadel. Do we even have tools? I do not. Oh, that's that's actually a bit of an issue. We need some tools. Fifteen. Take my plant fiber. All of my plant fiber? Oh god. Uh let's just use six. Well, that's about as good as I'm going to be able to get it. We got our blueprints. Hopefully, eventually, we'll get some money here. Okay. And we get... Still no beavers. I really want to get this one, but it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to pull that off anytime soon. Okay. Well, they want a scavenger camp. Pretty much can't scavenge a dang thing. And they want a stonecutter's camp. Which can harvest a dang thing. Just not much of a dang thing. Oh, that's the that's the trader that just left the village at a mild pi panic moment. Yeah, we gotta find some stone here, or we're gonna have to start trading for it. I think the other option is I potentially take a lot of dudes off. Let's see. Yeah, the alternative is I, I potentially take a number of people just off. I just want to get those built, get that first quest, get some more people, maybe. Okay, because I can't get any of these. I'm going to just put that there. I did see some more farmlands. We've actually got several bits useful too. We've also got some kind of southern y things. So I'll, I'll line those up. I'll see what I can do. Okay, sign workers. Yeah. We're going to just send that to the Citadel. We could use the extra food way more than we could use the meat. 
the meat, the roots, or the coal. But yeah, the extra money and the blueprints will go a long way. Get the extra parts. So pack of provisions. Stone roads, stone roads, tons of packs of pr provisions and trade goods and other things. Oh. So we can make those. But we probably shouldn't. I'm really low on stuff. Oh. Beaver house, human house. And trapper camp. Clothier would be lovely. But can't afford it. Alright. And I'm really low on resources. I'm gonna burn some wood for a little while. Okay. Pick veggies and plant fiber. Oh. Mumba. There we go. We get a little bit of it. And there was the stone cutter camp. Which can grab those. Okay, that'll give me a bit of something. And switch it over to beavers. Okay. How are we doing on firewood? Okay, we're actually doing way too good on firewood. I'm just going to limit it to 40. Uh, let's limit it to 20. 20. Because, yeah, I was wondering where all, all of our wood went, and the answer is there. Oh. Here's the other thing. Trapper camp. We can get some eggs while we're at it. Okay, so we have the granary, which can make stew. I think I have these? No, it doesn't look like it. We've lost all of our roots. Eggs, veggie, mushrooms. Oh. Let's keep doing those. Okay, what do we got? Mold supply. More mushrooms. Five mushrooms for every ten... Ooh. Ooh, these are really good. I'm gonna go with this. Is that the primo option? I don't know. Okay. We're not sacrificing anything further, but we're okay. I really gotta put limits on things, otherwise my guys go just bananas and they're like, I'm going to make everything. Okay. 20. 20. 20. Anything beyond that, actually, it screws me over. I'm just gonna pull that person off. I think we need other people doing other things. Uh -huh. Namely, another human. Otherwise, we start starving. And that goes bad. What the heck are these? Worm tongue nest. Yeah, we also have some more farms. Which is something to consider. Okay. That said, egg. Give me food. So let's take a look. Pack of crops. 
Okay, she's making stew. Okay, how are we doing on the rest of these? Here and there. I need to get four. What about this one? There's the jerky. We'll do meat. There's somebody working here. Yes. Oh. But I have to put in plant fiber. I'm going to turn off leather. Do have any more lizard boys? No. I guess we'll have her work that. Okay, let's start working on food. Well, we haven't lost yet. My people aren't that sad. Which is kind of big. Can I do this yet? Oh. Oh. Let's welcome some new people. I can switch these resources around. Let's get those camps out of the way. Because having some new people means potentially more farms. Is this my lumber camp? Yes. Okay, what about this lumber camp? They're doing it. Oh, there's lizards here. I don't have any of the beavers working any anywhere strange. Do I? Oh, here's the other issue. We need some housing. Okay. What do I pull people out of? I guess as soon as we have these camps, we'll have new people. Okay, no barrels. No stew. Our food supply is very limited, but we're about to hit harvest season. Okay, so what does she have? Cookhouse, stew, pie, and pottery. Forger's camp. Or mold supply. Okay, that big. Building materials. Uh, how about that? Let's do like one. One tool. All right. But if we're lucky, that means all of the wheat we're about to harvest, presuming, presuming there's some wheat as part of that mix, hopefully that'll double the results. Okay. And this time around, yeah, I'm going to have to ignore those. Oh, do I even have tools? I do not. So we're going to have to just ignore that. Because until I can... Uh... Okay. One. Two. Three. Really wish it would be like, until good. There we go. We need more tools to do anything and everything. Alright, this opens me up. And we can get some more people. Including some more beavers. 
I should probably accommodate. There's only so much I can do about that, but still. That means I can move these guys out, switch the beavers in. Switch you out for lizard, keep the lizard there, switch her out for lizard. Okay, packs of crops. I gotta be very careful about some of these things. Okay, and can I... I still can't gather mushrooms. But on the plus side, I see at least a couple of farmlands. Oh, this is the scavenger camp. Uh, aha! I was like, there's got to be a little bit more than I can harvest. And the answer is yes. Okay, so the beavers are happy. This is good. I can potentially start making some jerky too. I'm going to put one lizard in here. Limit us to 10, however many bricks we need. And let's do 20 jerky. It looks like, oh, move a lizard into the ranch. They're better with it. All right, I might actually, I might actually be sustainable now. Last time we were just cooked. How about these guys? These guys are just doing whatever. Let's fix that. Yeah, I, I have no idea what's in one of the more threatening areas. It says be prepared, but I have no idea what that means. I'm pretty sure I have nothing stone-wise that I can harvest. So I'm just going to move it back. Okay. And these guys can make their way in here. We're going to have to go for some of those big bad spots. Okay, how am I on food? I'm doing better, but we're going to want more farms. Because if I can have a supply of farms and ranches, we should be able to keep up food-wise perpetually forever. The big issue is the Queen's Impatience is going to get problematic. <sighs> and that really limits me here. Because a number of these objectives I straight up just can't do. Like, I don't know when I'm going to get stone roads. Okay. So I'm going to need... <laughs> like 40 of these. Uh... I'm just going to turn that off. Have her work that. 